States, at least 14 children and one teacher have been killed in a shooting in the U.S. state of Texas. The attack unfolded at an elementary school in the town of Uvalde, about 130 kilometers west of San Antonio. Police have reportedly killed the shooter, who we understand was 18 years old. This story is developing quickly. We want to go now to Washington. Our correspondent, Sumi Sumiskanda, she is going to bring us up on what we know. Sumi, give us an update right now. What do we know? Yeah, Brent, uh, we are still getting details as they are trickling into us. We're learning little by little a bit more about this horrific shooting that happened in Uvalde. As you said, this, that's just a little bit outside of San Antonio in Texas, so not that far uh, from the Mexican border, uh, if you think of where San Antonio lies in Texas. And the information that's coming into us, as you just said, that we've heard now confirmed that the gunman uh, is believed to be this 18-year-old who, um, as the governor of Texas, Greg Uvalde, uh, Greg uh, Abbott rather said, is from from Uvalde itself. Mm -hmm. um, in that statement that was really just a few minutes ago from the governor, uh, Greg Abbott, he said that the shooter is believed to have had a handgun and a rifle. Uh, that is information, again, that uh, the governor himself said is not completely confirmed yet, but that is the information that he has at this point, uh, that the shooter was from the area. Apparently, according uh, to the Texas governor, he then abandoned his vehicle, the shooter, and entered the school. And, and using the words that the governor used there, said, uh, horrifically and incomprehensibly shot 14 students and a teacher. Brent, you mentioned this is an elementary school for some of our international mm -hmm. viewers, an elementary school in the U.S. That means kids from the age of around 5 to 11, mm -hmm. young kids who, who went to school, this school, uh, shot dead 14. I mean, it really is uh, shocking, this number of, of uh, students who were killed and, of course, the one teacher. And they added to that fact that the shooter as you said, has also been deceased, uh, is deceased rather. And uh, the governor said it is believed that the responding officers who arrived at the scene were able to uh, take down, essentially, um, the shooter in this case. We don't know yet how many more people were injured in the shooting and what state and uh, what condition they're in. We know that uh, some of uh, the injured have been taken to a local hospital, but we're waiting for more details to come into us. But we can certainly say, Brent, that this is a, a massive school shooting and a, and a terrible tragedy. Tragedy. And it's it's just almost impossible to get your mind around this. We're talking about one gunman able to kill a teacher and 14 children. And as you were saying, it was a rifle and, and a handgun. Um, it just boggles the mind that this was possible. And we're going to have to add this, aren't we, Sumi, to the long list of mass shootings that, are, that take place in the U.S. almost on a daily basis now. That's absolutely right, Brent. Just before coming on, I was looking at the numbers, and up until last week when the, we saw the terrible uh, racist shooting in Buffalo, um, a, a local uh, action group already recorded 198 mass shootings uh, 19 weeks into the year in America. That wow. is a staggering number. So as you said, we are adding this to the list of, of shootings that we have witnessed in the country, especially in the last few weeks alone. Unfortunately, that is the case. Sumi Sumiskanda there with the latest on a school shooting at an elementary school in Texas. 14 children confirmed dead. One teacher also confirmed dead. Sumi, thank you.